There's been a lot of misinformation on the web about Heartbleed, the open SSL uh, bug vulnerability. It's been called a virus. It's been called the end of the internet. People have been saying differing things about what you should do with your passwords. A lot of it needs to be, well, a lot of it is hype that needs to be dispelled. And that's what we're here for, y'all. So what Heartbleed is, the Tencent version is, is that it's a vulnerability in uh, a version of SSL uh, which came out in 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, roughly 66% of the internet um, uses this version of SSL, which means that there's a lot of sites that have this vulnerability. Um, basically, it's a window that was left open, and then they said, holy shit, how long has this window been left open? Uh, this is bad. Who could have accessed this? Oh, anybody? For how long? Oh, two years? Oh, shit. Like, let's fix this. Uh, this is an error with the heartbeat check for TLS, Transport Layer Security. So what it does is with Heartbleed, uh, the problem is the lack of bounds checking, which is a, a, a check, it's like a safe measure. To, so one end will send information to the other end, the other end will send it back the exact same information just to make sure everything's cool. Everything's fine, everything checks out. That's encryption, right? Yeah. Yes. And the response is, uh, it, instead of sending back the exact, well, the exploiters, instead of sending back the exact same information, could send back something else. So an attacker tricks the open SSL's uh, TLS heartbeat into grabbing the first 64 kilobytes of its buffer, its storage. Uh, in that data is typically sensitive information, such as passwords, usernames, uh, banking numbers, yeah. credit card information, what have you. Also in that information is the private key, and this is what makes decrypts the encrypted information. Without the private key, your encrypted data is useless. So basically, on the website, it'll tell you which of the important websites that you use and have names and passwords and, and has your private information has been patched. So you can check this list to see if it's been patched. Once it's been patched, go and just change your password. It's as simple as that. If it hasn't been patched yet, changing your password does you no good. Now that password is just as vulnerable as the last one was. Well, the only way from not the user end, but from the the if you own a website end, is to revoke your current certificate and purchase a new one. So whoever's selling the certificates is going to make a lot of money out of this. I don't know, but that's that's what you need to do. Now the problem is the one that your grandparents will fall for is in a couple of weeks you'll start to get fake emails saying your name and password are at risk. Click here to change it, and yeah. then that's the second round of phishing that always comes after these vulnerabilities. Please don't do that. Don't, don't, do, don't that. do that. So we have a friend, or the Young Turks Network has a friend, and he's a friend of Nerd Alert. His name is Steven Garcia. He's a programmer, um, and he's brought something important to my attention that a lot of people haven't talked about, which is that we aren't we are paying attention to websites, but we aren't paying attention to home routers, IP-enabled phones, VPN. Those are used to securely connect to company networks, for example, okay. and plenty of those use open SSL. So it's kind of tough for us to check if those routers are impacted or not. And if you're vulnerable, an attacker can connect to your router and get your pr credentials, and then they are in your home network and you're fucked. So it's, it's up to that company and that company's IT portion to do their own patching and to inform their employees and everyone that uses those VPNs and whatnot yeah. that it has been patched and that they are safe and what to do from here. Uh, he, he brought up the point that home routers are being impacted as well if they're also using OpenSSL, and we're not thinking about that. We're not hearing about that that often. So there's another layer of things that you need to be worried about um, and to make sure that you have certificates revoked and, and re-implemented. Re it's not the end of the internet, but you should be worried. This is serious, and steps do need to be taken. So hopefully we've dispelled a little bit of that for you. Taking care of yourself during Heartbleed is more than changing your passwords. Uh, be sure to click the link below to make sure that certain sites that you use or own have not been compromised. And please let us know what you think of all this below in the comments. And please be sure to subscribe.